How you got, mate? The first thing you want to do is jump to Documents, create a new folder, call it Start DX Story, and then you're going to put two files in here, which has got the text in from what I put there. That's just the comment I sent you, by the way. So, Notepad, crack it open. So this is the first bit of text. Now, you're going to need to change it to whatever yours says. So, you're pointing this to a shortcut of DX Story. So, find your DX Story, copy it, and then right click and paste the shortcut somewhere. So, I've got my shortcut in here, a little folder on the desktop called Tools, and uh, it's pointed to here. For some reason, it doesn't like being pointed to the file directly but it works if you point it to any shortcut. So wherever you put a shortcut, you could put another shortcut uh, in here, directly in Documents, or even, I guess, you could put it in the uh, directory we've just created. shouldn't make a difference. So point it to a shortcut, and then once you've got it correct, obviously you can't use this because this is for mine, save it drop down here all files because you're creating a batch file so it's automatically put us in the right place you want to be in documents inside the folder you just created start DX story and call it what I put over here start DX story dot bat and the dot bat means it's going to be a batch file but if you leave it like that it won't work you need to put all files dot bat and you save you can close it and if we look back at uh, documents, I did this before, it'll open in a second, I don't know why, I think it's because I'm recording. Go back in. Um, there it is, and if I run this, it runs minimized because I've got this shortcut minimized. Uh, I've told it to run minimized anyway. Uh, so if I run this, you see that little window that pops up. Now it did run, it's down here. I've got it set up to run minimized. But the other file that we create is to stop that little pop up because personally I don't like it. So if you're happy with the little pop up, you can leave it like that, copy this, and then paste the shortcut into your startup folder in there. So you could copy that and paste it in there like that. But if you want to get rid of that little pop-up, which I did, you just create another folder, uh, sorry, another notepad file, crack it open, and then you just paste in, copy and paste in this bit of the text. And you need to point it to the file we just created. So whatever your, uh, just jump in there, copy that, do backslash start dx story dot bat make sure it's in quotations keep your quotations there and yeah just replace that and when you file save as chuck it in the same folder and call it uh, start dx story dot vbs because it's a vbs script and the same procedure do all files and then it will uh, do the vbs script for you save that you can close that and now you've got this so DX story is not down there at the moment but if you run that now it's down there and you didn't have the window pop up so it all works so I'll exit that because I don't want it so then just to get it to run at startup you copy the VBS one go all programs right click startup open and then paste the shortcut you could put it directly in there but I just do it this way and that's it that will run the shortcut, which will run that, which will run that, which will run the shortcut. <laughs> but it works, and it's pretty quick anyway for me. So yeah, that's it. Hope it works for you, mate.